Okay, guys, so I have this big box of stuff that I got from Ulta. It's Ulta. Ulta. It's really not like a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm going to share with you guys some stuff that I got. I don't know about you, but I've been doing a lot of online shopping since we've been on this like stay at home situation. Comment down below if you guys have too. Um, but I've just been like trying to catch some sales and not, but you know, I've been getting stuff here and there. So the first thing that I have that's sticking out of the box, I wanted to pick up a new perfume because I ran out of my favorite, which is the Chanel perfume, the Chanel Chance. Um, so I was on the website looking for perfume and I really, really want the Flower Bomb perfume. Uh, but I was like, I don't really want to pay $85 right now. So I saw this one and this is the KK. KKW Fragrance, the Diamonds Collection with her, Chloe, and Kim. Um, this is the one that I got. I got Chloe's. So you just pull the box open like this. And I think the packaging is super cute. It's like this pink diamond crystal. The only thing that I'm noticing that I don't really like is I can't stand it up with the rest of mine back here. I have to lay it flat. So I'll probably just keep it in the box and, you know, just use it as I want to. Um, when I first opened this and when I first smelled it yesterday, my first memory, um, I don't know, when I smell perfumes, I they take me back places. So this reminded me very much like um, Paris Hilton's Heiress. If you guys remember that, I used to wear that in high school. And when I smelled this at first, that's what it reminded me of. I used to love that scent. So it smells really, really nice. Mm. I like it. My hubby likes it. It's not too strong. It's very light. Um, it smells different when, when you smell it. It smells quite different than when you actually spray it on your body. It just smells like a fresh bouquet of flowers or it's just very clean and it lasts all day. I tried it yesterday. It just smells like very clean and like girly. I really, really like it. So this was on sale for $28. The normal retail price is 40. I thought that was a good deal. And even though I really, really want the flower bomb, I'm still going to get it. I was like 28, 85, 28, 85. So I went ahead and picked this up. Next couple things I got are makeup items. So I used a few today before I filmed this video um the first thing that i use and that i have on my face right now is the estee lauder double wear foundation so i've been wanting to try this foundation for so 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 long this is an old foundation but i heard so many good things about it and by the way if you guys hear my kids can't help that um i got the color 2w2 rot rattan i guess that's how you say it this is what the bottle looks like it's a matte bottle super cute i think the color matches me almost spot on. I think they had a color matching um, tool on the Ulta website, but I actually use, if you guys watch my videos, every time I buy a new foundation, I tell you guys that I use a specific YouTuber here. Um, we, we're pretty much the same shade. If I can remember her name, I'll have it in the description box. So if you guys are a similar complexion, you can check her out. She always lists um, all her shade comparisons in her description box of her videos. This foundation retails for, I think, $47 or $43, something like that. But it's, it's actually really good. It's a matte finish. Um, at first, I was like, because it was, I don't really like matte foundations. I haven't. But now that I'm taking care of my skin and getting these dry patches together and texture, um, I don't know if you guys can tell like how good my makeup looks today. Um, but I'll show you guys the skincare stuff that I have been using. So yeah, pick this up as well. Um, the next thing I picked up is this Dose of Colors uh, lip gloss in the color Can You Not? And it's what I have on my lips right now. I really like these um, lip glosses because they smell like chocolate. So yeah, but this is what it looks like. And again, it is what I'm wearing on my lips. I think this was $18, I'm pretty sure. So I got that. I definitely want to pick up some more colors. And then the next thing I picked up was the Elf Hydrating Concealer. So I saw Brianna use this on her channel and I already loved the matte one, but I don't like, my under eyes are already dry, so I don't like to use anything too thick like the Tarte. I can't use Tarte because Tarte is too dry for me. Um, I, my favorite that I have been using for like the last couple months is the Juvia's Place because it's super hydrating. A lot of people don't like it. So I wanted to try this one out and I actually 
went out and picked up I actually went out and picked up one from the store the other day before this one got here. The only thing is this is a little bit, it's not a brightening concealer for me, but honestly, you guys, I haven't been doing a super bright under eye. I just been liking the natural look and this is more of like my skin complexion, but I really like it. Um, so yeah, now I have two and these run for $6. If you guys are looking for a new concealer to try and that's drugstore and affordable, I would definitely recommend the e.l.f. Hydrating or Matte Concealers. Um, I really like them, so I picked that up. You guys know, I if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you definitely should follow me on Instagram, I rave about the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, and I just used up my last little bit that I had um, in today's look, so I'm so glad. And again, I wear the shade Cassava, which is their yellow shade. This powder is bomb, you guys. It's like I have on a filter all day, love it so so much y'all that perfume oh my god it smells so good i smell so delicious and like girly i just love it um so yeah picked up another one of these these run for 24 dollars. and then the last makeup item that i picked up from ulta was the morphe mattifying mist honestly i just wanted to try it out again i don't really like to be too matte um my favorite one is the original just the original setting spray i probably should have picked that one up because I don't know if it's broken or what. I don't know. Should it move like that? And I don't like the way that it sprayed out. Like, it doesn't spray out like the original one. So I might take this back once, you know, I'm able to. I don't know when that's going to be. Um, but I might just make it work. I would, I think I, I, think I just want to stick to the original one. But I'll see how I like it. So far, my makeup, like I said, looks good. And I did use this. I didn't get it from Ulta. But you guys, if you guys, if you know, you know. Okay these maybelline ultra slim brow pencils are the bomb you guys that's how i get my brows to pop i absolutely love this stuff and it's 7.99 or 8.99 and i've been through three of these things already bomb affordable and bomb oh you guys i almost forgot to mention um i also picked up these lashes that i have on i picked up the lily lashes in miami i have been wanting to try these for years and finally i was just like oh yeah i usually i've been um using lashes that were sent to me so finally i was like okay just get them they look really really good and you guys i think these are going to be like my new favorite lashes they're super super lightweight but they're so beautiful like look at them they're so pretty um so yeah lily lashes in miami send me some more lashes lily come on Okay, so now we're going to jump into skincare that I have picked up recently from Ulta. So the first thing that I picked up, um, I have quite a, quite a few skincare items here. So if you guys know, I absolutely love Urban Skin RX. Um, this is their Urban Skin Clear Skin Cleansing Bar. Um, let me set this. I don't want it to spill. Okay, so it, yeah, like I was saying, I love this Urban Skin Bar. I picked up one, I think, I don't know, y'all, like in December, the, the beginning of December or January or something, and I'm just now running out, and I still have a little bit more. So I got another package, and if you guys don't didn't watch my last video, this is what it looks like. Oh, hold up. Is this a bigger one? It looks bigger to me. Oh, okay. So wait, it didn't come with, okay, so this is a bigger one, but it didn't come with any sponges. Oh, okay. That's so weird. So this time the sponges are very small and they came at the bottom of the, there's one in there, I think. Let me open it. Hold on, y'all. So this is a bigger package. Um, it says surprise, limited time, bonus size. So um, it's a lot bigger, so it'll last me a lot longer. This is what it looks like. And it has sal salicylic acid in here, which is great for acne-prone skin. Um, yeah, and then it came with... Well, no, I guess it didn't come with any... Um, it didn't come with any of the sponges. That's really weird to me. because this is not it or wait if I wet these they get they get thicker 
We'll try it. I have no idea. I have no it's idea. It's a lot bigger and I'm happy about that. So if you guys haven't tried anything for your skin recently, this is really good. And they have different bars that you can try out. They have like a combo skin bar. They have a bunch of different ones. This one is just my favorite one. So I got that. That's what I have been using on my skin. And immediately upon using that stuff, you guys, those, a couple months ago, my skin had cleared up. So like the little bumps on my skin, gone. And then one of my friends recommended the brand Formula 10 06. And so she said to pick up the So Totally Clean Deep Pore Cleanser. This is salicylic, salicylic acid treatment as well. It's supposed to help clear acne pimples, blackheads, and whiteheads and prevent the development of new blemishes. Y'all, this stuff is so bomb. The smell of it too, it reminds me of something. I don't know what that smell is, but it, it smells good to me. Um, I use this, I wash my face with the Urban Skin and then I take this on a cotton ball or a tissue or whatever and I put it all over my skin to tone and I especially put it here because this is where I would get um, whiteheads, especially on my chin and blackheads on my nose and you guys, this has helped so, so much and this is like $6 I think or like $10 but it's, they always have buy one get one so I picked this up and y'all game changer this one is even better and this one has lactic acid in it which is really really good which i also am going to show you guys so yeah i picked up this thing that i picked up from ulta was the ordinary lactic lactic acid lactic acid drops now i had my eye on these for quite some time two of my friends um use this and their skin looks so bomb so they recommended me recommended that i use this so this targets uneven tone texture and fine lines it's a lactic acid 10 percent high strength super facial peeling formula so it's going to take off that first layer of your skin i was kind of nervous to use this or buy this at first just because i wasn't really sure how to use it um and i'm still like i've only used it probably for a week but i've noticed a difference like here was my my main problem area my face was here and since using this and my pores just look smaller my makeup looks more flawless i really really like it so this is what the bottle looks like and if you guys want like an updated skin care routine video comment down below let me know once i clean and clean my face and tone my face i take a few drops of this on my hand and i just kind of pat it into my skin i let it sit for a minute the first time I used this, I didn't really feel any burning or anything. You know, you guys might think since it's an acid, it might burn. Um, I didn't really feel anything, um, but I did notice that I was a little red on my cheeks a little bit um, the first time I used it. But now I haven't had, since then, I haven't had any problems. This, this brand is really, really affordable and really cheap. This is $6. This, they, their stuff, I think, ranges. Um, it's just really, really affordable. The next one I want to try is the Pilling acid the pilling serum or whatever I'm a, I'm a little scared about that one but this one you guys should definitely try it from that same formula 1006 brand i picked up the perfect picture day daily moisturizer with spf 15 sunscreen guava and vitamin c my friend also recommended that i try this out for days when i'm not wearing makeup which is a lot of the time um this is what it looks like and let me smell it i hadn't even opened it oh it has a thingy on there i need spf especially with using any acids on your face um you want to make sure that you're that you use a sunscreen it don't smell like anything hold on i really can't smell anything so yeah i picked this up like i said for days that i don't have on any makeup it says this is a lightweight moisturizer that provides hydration and sun protection all in one the super fruit guava refines pores and promotes clear skin while vitamin C moisturizes and smooths. Ooh, I'm excited to try this. Okay, so the last thing that I have picked up from Ulta, which I hadn't used in a while because I used to use the Body Shop Tea Tree Toner and I really liked that for blemishes, but like, y'all look at my skin. Like I don't have so many blemishes that I used to. I do have um, a blemish here because I have had a pimple for like a week and a half now that I just haven't picked with i've just been trying to um get rid of so i picked up the tea tree body shop the by the body shop tea tree oil i have started back incorporating this into my skincare routine this little thing is ten dollars um but it's totally worth it whenever i feel a breakout coming or like i said this one here i've just been applying the the oil on a little q-tip at nighttime 
um, and in the morning time. Um, I remember I had this pimple coming and I had one over here, but you guys, it's not even there. The day I used this, I put it on there and it was gone the next day. This one was just doing its own thing. Um, it was like, girl, I'm gonna leave when I wanna leave. That's basically everything that I picked up from Ulta within the last week, two, three weeks. Um, I got one package yesterday and I had some stuff come in a couple weeks ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more hauls, well, let me know. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on any more of my uploads. Also, comment down below if you guys like my hair. I did it myself. It took me nine hours and yeah yeah it took nine hours and i did it straight through but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video